your energy forecast for Saturday, September 9th. So today we have the moon in Cancer in our place of power all day. And of course, this means that we're a little bit introverted. We're calling attention to our inner realm. We have a lot of emotions. We're highly intuitive. We're super sensitive. And we are over these days of having the moon in its place of power, trying to refine our emotions and really examine where it is that we're busting away from the old and where it is that we're being called to create, to pursue the new. So there are seven different aspects here today and six of them going to involve the moon. The moon and Venus interact right out of the gate. Of course, Venus is direct now in this Leo energy, the heart and soul of the Zodiac. And we definitely have a lot of feels. We are building in our boldness and our bravery and our courage. We are building ourselves up. We are wanting to truly express ourselves, especially where we've had a change of heart. And this particular interaction is going to illuminate where it is that we are making some very serious progress. Now, granted, it is in the inner realm, but that's where the energy is at right now with all these retrograde planets. So this is an awareness, if you will, an intuitive gut instinct, if you will, on what it is that we need to change and transform in our physical realm where Venus rules. So that's over our self-confidence, our self-esteem. It's over the routines that we have in the run of our day. It's our relationships, who we allow to take up time, energy, and space, who we deem to be of worth and value, who actually helps contribute to our overall happiness, safety, and security, and who does not. And when we're identifying the who or what does not, those are going on the list of things that we have to change, transform, and remove. So this particular aspect is a aha moment on where it is that there's some true emotion coming up in our heart space that is pushing us to validate who and what will be staying and will be going. The moon is then going to sextile beautiful interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings, who is retrograde in Taurus energy. What I like about this is that there's an inner growth taking place. There's an expansion of our emotional and intellectual awareness. There is an aha moment, if you will, on the spiritual wisdom and knowledge that we've accumulated by going through the tough love life lessons that we've been going through. And because this is a sextile, this is a boost to our confidence, to our self-esteem, to our hopes, to our wishes, to our dreams. This is like pushing us into a brand new realization, a brand new light, where it is that in our inner realm, we're growing up. Now the moon is going to sextile the sun, the sun being in Virgo energy, shining a very bright and beautiful light on where it is that we have to heal certain aspects of self. The Virgo energy being an earth sign ruled over by Mercury, we are definitely needing to examine the mental plane, how we look at ourselves, how we look at our day, how we look at the to-do list, the tasks, the chores, the roles, the responsibilities, how we are running through the narratives in the run of our day and where it is that we have the ability to identify what is old, what is broken, what is no longer serving us, what is no longer supporting us. And in that realizing where we have an opportunity to rearrange and restructure the things that are no longer working. So this is going to be an aha moment, bringing a new awareness into play, a new energy, a new emotion, a new focus on where it is that we can improve, where we could do things better, where we can be working smarter instead of harder. The moon is then going to interact with Saturn in not the nicest way. Saturn, the Lord of Karma, who is retrograde in this Pisces energy, helping us to deconstruct our old belief systems, examining our dreams, our passions, our desires, and examining where it is that the fears and the doubts and the old programming preventing us from actually being a vibratory match to some of the things that we're actually looking to manifest. Now, Saturn is the negative Nancy when he is aspected in a not nice way, which means that we're going to be a little bit down. We're going to move into a funk. Now, let me just say with the moon and cancer, we're hypersensitive. We're a little bit whiny. We're passive aggressive. We're highly defensive. And there is this fear of letting go of the old, even though we're no longer attached to it because we don't know what the new element will be coming in to fill its place. The Saturn energy really kind of, I'm going to say, giving us a reality check on where it is that maybe our egoic programming 
has taken the leadership role, taking control over our inner realm of thoughts and emotions and putting us in a fear-based response to some of the aha moments, some of the clarity, some of the epiphanies that are coming in the higher realms of intelligence in order to show us where a new vision, a new path, a new direction should be initiated. Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves, retrograde in its place of power in this Virgo energy is going to make a really tough interaction with the North Node in Aries. Reminder, North Node in Aries is our soul path. It's our destiny point. It's the path that we need to be on in order to reach our soul's mission, our soul's purpose, our soul's potential. The North Node in Aries energy over the next 18 months is trying to show us where it is that we have to break away, where we have to be more independent, where we need a little bit more freedom, where we need to get to know ourselves again, where we need to love ourselves again, be so quote unquote self-centered that we actually put our own wants, needs, and desires at the top of the list. Now, Mercury interacting with the North Node in this way, not a happy jam. Instead of realizing where we have the opportunity to improve things, to fix things, to kind of grow things, to heal through things, instead, we're at a gridlock. Instead, we're kind of cluster effed in our mental plane. We're not seeing the opportunities for growth, for healing, for expansion. All we're seeing is another problem on our to-do list. We kind of get tunnel visioned, if you will, and weighed down under just another aspect that isn't so happy, isn't so happy-go-lucky, isn't showing us where growth and improvement can take place. Instead, we're just kind of tunnel vision on the problem and we feel blocked and trapped in it. The moon is then going to get into the boxing ring with Chiron, the wounded healer who is retrograde in Aries energy. So you best believe between Mercury's interaction with the North Node and now the moon getting into the boxing ring with Chiron, you best believe that we're about to sit in a funk for a little bit. Now, the funk is needed because the Chiron energy that we're getting in the boxing ring to fight it out with, that is our identity. And the moon being in Cancer energy is very attached to the past very attached to the old version of self, very attached to what it is that the old version of self created. Now we know, intellectually speaking, that we've outgrown some of these aspects and elements, that we are done with it, that we're no longer in alignment with it, that there is this want, need, and desire to change, to transform, to grow, to pursue a new path, to pursue a new passion. However, the egoic programming that kicks in when we are challenged or in a tension filled conflicting type of energy brings on the egoic programming that highlights our fears, our doubts, our insecurities that question whether or not we have what it takes to actually reemerge as this new version of self, whether we have it in us to boss up to the new roles and responsibilities that we're being kind of asked to pursue. This is a deflation, a deconstruction, of our higher selves, of our intuition, of what it is that at one point we knew to be true, intuitively speaking. We know that we're growing up. We know that we're bossing up. We know that we're moving into new karmic chapters, but that egoic programming kind of is like a little bit of a two-year-old tantrum where we're just kind of, you know, crossing our arms and sitting down and poting. We're not budging. We're not moving. We're just going to sit in it as uncomfortable as it may be. Now we sit in that funk for, you know, I'm going to say six, six hours ish until we start feeling the shift. Now the shift is coming in with the moon and cancer sextiling beautiful interaction with Uranus, the great awakener who is retrograde in this Taurus energy. So this is like a, we sit in the funk, you know, how like a, a two year old throwing a tantrum. You know, they can only last for so long. They only have so much staying power. They can only be so stubborn for so long. Well, this is us in this particular interaction. And what happens is just at the snap of the fingers, suddenly we've broken out of it. Suddenly we have an aha moment. Suddenly we have a shift. That's that Uranian energy throwing a lightning bolt down into the highest realms of our intellect that suddenly changes our inner realm and our inner disposition. We're realizing where it is that, yeah, we just sat in a breakdown for sure, but Uranus is like, you know what? Here's the breakthrough. Here's an aha moment. Here's an epiphany. Here is something that once you know, you can't unknow. Here's something that once you're excited and inspired about, you can't be unexcited and uninspired about. 
this Uranian energy being retrograde has an internalized vision, internalized view, if you will, on where it is that we're blocking ourselves, where we're the ones that are continuously holding on to the old and drudging up the past and preventing us from actually processing the thoughts and the emotions at the type of intellect and enlightened type of awareness that we need to process them at in order to actually collapse them, to make a change, to transform and to align with the higher vibrations and the frequencies. So this is very much a shake up and a wake up in all of the right ways, breaking out of, out of the funk that we've been sitting in and really pushing us to see where it is that there is a new possibility, a new perspective and a new understanding especially when we're taking a good look at the past.